Are you a people person, artistic, and like doing hair? Then maybe being a hairdresser might be for you. Hey everyone, this is Marcus and he's a hairdresser. So Marcus, overall, what does a hairdresser do? A uh, hairdresser's job is to just make people feel good, make people look good, and also educate them as well. So how much education do you need to be a hairdresser? Education to be a hairdresser requires cosmetology school, which is $1,500. So what do you do on a typical work day? Sanitizing and also catering to our guests as well. Like to make sure that they're What do you like most about your job? Besides working with people, um, the thing I like the most is that we do a lot of fundraising at my salon. We give back and it goes on year round. So from January to December every year we do a lot of fundraising. What are the unusual benefits about your job? Well, one thing that a lot of people don't know about being a hairdresser is that you can create your own schedule, um, your own hours, and you determine your paycheck. What websites are most useful and related to your job? Modern Salon, American Salon, Behind the Chair. Can you tell us some surprising facts about your like? Question? You're in charge of your own schedule, mm -hmm. and you can, like for instance, if you, you choose how much money you want to make. Well, again, you have to be a people person. That's number one, because you can't be in this industry without being a people person. Um, the advice I would give is, just like anything, you have to, what you put in, you get out. So if you want to be a great hairdresser, you put in the work, you can be a great hairdresser, and great things come with that. If you just want to do it something on the side, mm -hmm. you can do that as well. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Well, if being a hairdresser fits you, then you should visit www.thefittingroom.tv. Well, thank you for having us. Uh, thank you. It was a pleasure.